How's it going guys? It's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center, reaching out to you guys today to talk about medications. So I get a lot of questions. Should I take a pill, a powder, or an injection? What's better? Well, that's a great question and there's a lot of information. So I wanna break it down for you and talk about how good a medication is in its form. So the first thing we talk about is the actual medication. It could be a pill form, it can be a powder, a syrup, it can be an injection, intermuscular, intravenous. So when you're thinking about what's the best way to get it, when you take a medication by mouth, it enters the stomach. There's a lot of competition in the gut. There's stomach acid, there's food, there's liquid. There's many things in the stomach that can alter the medication you're taking in. So you may not get that full amount of the actual advertised milligrams. So when you're thinking about how much are you actually gonna get, what's it gonna transform into in the body, that's called bioavailability. So bioavailability is important because that's the bread and butter of your medication. So when a medication is injected into the body, which many of the therapies offered here at Titan Medical Center are, intermuscular injections are a great way for the medication to enter the body. So when entering into the muscle via an intermuscular injection, there are many blood vessels in the muscles that are able to uptake this medication and transport it to the sites for absorption. So we call that bioavailability, distribution, to the area the body needs to convert this medication to a usable form. So there you have it folks. The science behind injections versus pill or powder form medications by mouth, injection wins almost all the time. So to get the most benefit, injectable medications is the way to go, in my opinion. So if you're interested in learning more about some of our Titan therapies, give me a call. We'd love to help you out, 727-389-3220. Once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we're here in Orlando for Olympia 2021. It's one of the biggest events in fitness and bodybuilding in the world. We're very happy to be a part of it in a big, big way this year. We've got a huge presentation for you guys, huge booth, and all our Team Titan is over there giving out free giveaways, awesome special giveaways, and a lot of special guests over there too. So. You guys, check out this video and make sure you guys stay tuned to all the content behind the scenes and all the interactions at the Titan Medical Center booth at Olympia 2021. What's up guys, here, official, live in the flesh at Olympia 2021. Me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice. Hi! Uh, we're having a great time out here. 
interacting with all types of people from all walks of life. It's really, really cool from all over the world. I mean, honestly, I'm super honored because I've met fans, people that want to interview us. I mean, it's very flattering, to be quite honest with you, because me and John are very humble about our business and what we've done up to date. So to be able to have all these people that follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it might be, it's so cool. I love it. This yeah. event brings people from all over the world here. And getting, get, getting to interact with them in person, uh, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's yeah, just, they realize that we're real. It's phenomenal. Like, you know, like you can have a relationship with somebody online, but getting to meet with them, getting to see their facial expressions and stuff like that, or getting to hear their stories, yeah. that's the best part, right? Definitely feeling honored, very, very humbled um, to that and what we've done here. So it's going to be a great event. We're still here. It's Friday. We got all day Saturday oh, going boy. on. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be um, next level tomorrow. You know, I know we've that. got a huge booth which we stepped away from, and they, you know, Olympia and all those guys, thank you very much. Um, gave us another spot for the Titan Lambo. We've got some of our beautiful Titanettes out here. This is Mia. Miss Mia. Hi, Mama Motivation Mia. herself. This is Destiny. Hello, it's Destiny here. I love my girls. I really do. <laughs> Sometimes. So we're all about looking better, feeling better, and performing better, and that's what Titan Medical Center can do for you. So if you guys haven't called us or contact us contact us today 727-389-3220 or come and see us see you then tonight with our family our team titan members here officially day one is done major success for the team and for titan medical center in general um, happy to, to break some bread with my crew and uh enjoy this awesome awesome night so actually the day is not over and the reason why the day is not over because we did so good at the event today all of these amazing people that we have to repack another 400 bags <laughs> so when we go back it's going to be a, a, a bag packing party yeah, bag party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like a sleepover, yeah, a sleepover. Bag bag. <laughs> no really though i'm it's like super thing. super excited to have everybody here and you know everybody sitting at this table obviously is a staple right now and has been some people have been for quite some time you know it's been around for many 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 years so century we're yeah. all here. <laughs> A long time. We, we love our people. We love our people. Yeah. So we want to thank all of our team members for being here, giving it their all today, and we're ready for day two tomorrow. Yes. So I can't wait to be even better. Sure. Today. I'll just do it. Great day today. 
right? Let's have a great night, have a great dinner. I appreciate all you guys for being here. Let's celebrate, break bread, be ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Guys, what an amazing event Olympia 2021 has been. You know, hundreds and hundreds of people coming up to the booth, signing up, getting new shirts. We got to meet regular people, celebrities, you know, athletes of all different types of uh, sports. It's just been one amazing event. Well, normally, you have to remember, this is usually in Las Vegas, and now it's here. And obviously, we all know that we ran into the COVID issue. So last year was a little, a little bit not the same. So this year, being able to have a full-blown event here in Florida, which is not right down the street from our headquarters, was super cool. That's right. And you know Titan Medical Center came out here and represented to the fullest, right? We definitely made our mark here. Like usual, it was great having everybody here. We had Titans. There are new Titans, old Titans. I uh, had some Titans fly in. So it was just really, really cool. Yeah, it was a really, really great event. Great turnout. I am definitely looking forward to next year. So if you guys missed it this year, make sure you come next year. Come check us out at the booth and meet me and John in person. That's why we're here. We want to meet you. You guys want to become a patient, 727-389-3220. Thanks, guys. Bye. Now it's time for you to fill out your new patient paperwork. So I wanna go over some common questions or even some concerns on the new patient paperwork that some people have brought up. Hopefully this will help you guys fill out the new patient paperwork with ease and you guys can submit it and be on your way to be a Titan Medical Center patient. Let's go over some of these common issues or problems that are happening. First thing is, every line needs to be filled in on the new patient paperwork. When you go to each line, it will have a blank area where you can fill something in. You're gonna to wanna to fill something in on every line, but there might be some things that do not pertain to you. If they don't pertain to you, just put NA on there and we'll know exactly what you're talking about when the new patient paperwork comes in. This is probably the most common problem with people filling out the new patient paperwork. They leave one blank space and then they can't submit the new patient paperwork. The reason that we have it like this is because we need to make sure that you fill out all the areas necessary for us to give you the best type medical center 
customer or patient experience. So the next one, Skype username. If you don't have a Skype username, put NA. If you have a Skype username, you can put it. But if you're gonna use an Apple product like an iPhone or an iPad, you don't need a Skype username. After that, you filled out all the blanks, family history, health history, symptoms, and all of the pages. At the end, you're gonna to wanna to just press submit. Usually, if there's no problems or all the fields are filled in, it's gonna submit with ease and Titan Medical Center should receive it on our end and be giving you a phone call or contacting you about helping you guys out with therapies or services. If you've submitted the new patient paperwork and you have not got a call or a text from Titan Medical Center, please call us or text us and make sure that we did in fact receive your new patient paperwork. We would hate for you to go through this process of filling out the new patient paperwork and for you not to be able to get serviced or get our therapies that you guys want. So please contact us just to make sure if you have not received a phone call or a text message. I hope this has helped and we look forward to having you part of the Titan Medical Center family. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, every week, we're bringing to you guys tips, tricks, and things that will help ignite your relationship, hopefully take it to the next level, so you know, you're having a good time through this journey we call life. Um, and hopefully your partner's having just as much fun uh, mm -hmm. and loving you just as much as you're loving them, hopefully. Or right? more. <laughs> or more, right? <laughs> That's the goal, right? Um, so this week, you know, we're coming to you from one of our newer locations, I guess. Um, it's our Olympus Lounge, our Titan Medical Lounge, our pad here. So we're putting it together. So you know what? We're like, you know what? We're here. We might as well film Cupid's Corner here too as well. Um, so this week, we're going to come with something that kind of intertwines with our therapy of the week. So every week here at Type Medical Center, we have a therapy of the week. And that spotlights a therapy that can help you physically, mentally, and um, you know, spiritually possibly in some instances, because at that point, you're gonna feel better about yourself and overall better relationship with your partner because of that. Always. So this week we wanna talk about physical, mental health, benefiting sexual health because all these things correlate and go together. Mm -hmm. um, they all intermingle, right? Because physical health, we wanna have, so one, that we're healthy, we're walking around, getting out of bed, being able to do what we wanna do, and also being able to um, you know, take our partner's excitement to the next level too. Physically. Perform. Perform. On all levels, you know, because it's performance is not just performing physically, right? You need to perform mentally yep. and emotionally. Yep. I know me speak on behalf, I'm sure, of 90% of the females out there, and probably males too, you guys just don't talk about it. Um, you know, we connect on more of an emotional level, right? Yep. So, you know, to just bounce off of what if John's saying, yep. you know, me personally, when I'm really stressed out, which is all the time, but when I'm really stressed out, it essentially it starts to affect me mentally and I might just go the whole day and honestly not even think about it, mm -hmm. right? Even though I have the sexiest man on the planet, I mean, literally Ooh. speaking, right? But I mean, you know, you just might just, it just things go by so quick and all of a sudden, boom, the day is gone and that's it. You, yeah. you didn't even, you didn't think about it till your head hits the pillow and you're like, uh, hey, by the way, you were still up? <laughs> wake up, wake up. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I mean, like she's talking about emotionally, right? So, you know, men are usually more physical creatures, right? For excitement wise or, you know, to get going. 
for females, it's an emotional thing. Uh, they're more mentally connected. So they might, that's why, you know, like some girls are like, I like funny guys, ha ha ha, I don't know what they look like. <laughs> and those guys be girls. <laughs> or you might, you know, be walking down the street and a guy like, man, how did this guy pull that girl? You know, look at him, look it at me. Might be a good person. And it might be a mental stimulation thing. Yeah. That guy might be smarter than you. You might have the IQ there, right? Mm -hmm. He's strong in the mind, may not be strong in the body. Mm -hmm. There's different ways to be strong. Very true. Um, but, you know, I think we all generally, you know, want to have better physical health. And the reason is, and that doesn't mean you have to be jacked up or a bodybuilder or anything mm -hmm. like that. But if you want to be able to be more physically healthy, it's going to help your sexual relationship. And let me tell you why. One, you want to make sure, A, your health, like I said, you're getting out of bed and you're doing what you want to do. Two, you want to make sure you have that stamina, you have that endurance, you have that go factor. Um, and with this, with physical health, if you're active, right, it's going to help with blood flow and a number of different things they are going to help you perform in the bedroom. Right? I mean, I know a lot of guys, me personally, because I'm not the biggest gym fanatic there is. The only time I really need to get, like, I feel the need to get in the gym is when I'm like, oh, these pants don't fit. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the gym, right? I'm one of those. At least I can admit it, right? I'm a very straightforward person. All of you guys that do know me know that. Um, but, you know, for guys, or, I mean, specifically John, you know, I do know that if, you know, he doesn't get to go to the gym or at least get to work out or do something and honestly he doesn't even ask for like these two or three hour workout sessions right the guy's asking for like 45 minutes he's not even asking for anything crazy but he just needs that moment to really just release you know have a second it's almost like a female doing yoga or something right mm -hmm. like that's your outlet so that's his outlet and it, it, it not only does it help him mentally but it's gonna help him physically and it's gonna help with his health and his heart and all the cardiovascular things and all the great stuff too yep. but with him being able to do that it does genuinely help him in the bedroom and Absolutely. I'm not talking about performance wise just mentally yeah you know it just does I, it's something for him specifically and I'm sure there's probably a lot of guys out there that are the same exact way yeah. and it may not the outlet might not be the gym right. the outlet maybe the outlet is a they like to go and play basketball with their friends, right? Right? Or maybe it's a guy that plays baseball and he wants to play a softball game, you know, once a week with the guys. Yeah. Um, Tennis, golf, you name it. It's not, it could be anything. Maybe it's even just a, walking the dog around the block a couple times, you know, and there's you and your dog and you guys can, you know, whatever, stop by the fire hydrant. But I mean, you know, it's just to each his own and everybody has their own way True. to do it. But I do think it's very important that they, they definitely go hand in hand. Absolutely, so when we think about this, right, you want your physical health so you can perform physically, right? And some people lose this with losing their health. They mm -hmm. get you know, cardiovascular issues, blood flow problems, or on medications, they have these negative symptoms on their libido or power downstairs. Um, they really don't know what to do. So at that point, physical health is important. The next thing, mental health. Some people are depressed. Some people have a lot on their mind, whether there's a job or a strain or you know, going through a custody battle, whatever it may be. There's a lot of people out there dealing with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And this mentally, right? You can't it, connect it, it like takes that. Them down. It, you it can't. takes them down. So you know, some people might think that they have an erectile dysfunction problem when it's really a mental barrier of something that's going on or a stress factor. Mm -hmm. So you know, if your partner is telling you, hey, listen, I got a lot on the brain, there might be something that's really taking them down and mm -hmm. you might want to help them out and be supportive of them. Right. And then find out, hey, listen, is it, a, is it a mental thing or a physical thing? And then kind of find the root of that problem and take care of it because you guys can all take care of that. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is females. So a lot of females, it's a very high percentage of females, never achieve orgasm or they can't achieve orgasm with their partner or, you know, they're just not, you know, being able to perform optimally on their levels and what they do. Yeah, I think that's crazy considering that we just learned this fun fact the other day. What is it? What? Oh, the percentage the of, of females that don't have orgasms? No, 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 no. The one thing where, where how many uh, nerve endings there are. Oh, so there's 4,000 nerve endings in a male penis and there's 8,000 nerve endings in there's a vagina. Double, can you believe that? So there's double yeah. the nerve endings yeah. in a female yeah. yet it's harder for a female to reach orgasm yeah. isn't that insane yeah that goes to show you that it's yeah. got to be like a mental sometimes the emotional connection you know it's yeah. just it's i know for me personally listen if i'm in if i'm like this deep into work and i've got all these issues going on and things are going on around that you know whatever is this to be able to pull me aside for a second and be able to disconnect it, mm -hmm. yeah, that takes a very special skill. Absolutely. A very special skill. <laughs> to cut it off for a minute, refocus, 
and be like, okay, you know, as you know, we're having fun, I'm not thinking, oh no, how many emails do I have? You know, it's, it's the worst feeling ever. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's, it does, it goes back to the mental stress, you know, Absolutely. the physical stress. Um, I know personally, when I got sick with COVID last year, I was incredibly sick with it. It affected, you know, sexual health. I mean, because there was a lot I couldn't, I couldn't do, or put it this way, there might have even been things I could do, but I didn't want to, mm -hmm. you know, because I just, I wasn't feeling good. I was, I was sick. All right, that's how it is. So, I mean, these are some things you guys got to look for. Yep. And now, at that point, listen, Tight Medical Center can help both males and females out. Okay, we offer therapies for libido enhancement for both males and females. So for males, we've got a number of different things from our Supermans, our Ironmans, and our Cupid's Candy, mm -hmm. right? For females, we've got you handled, okay? So they make PT-141, and both males and females can have this. And what it does is, it works a little bit different than your Viagra Cialis that men usually use. What it does is it works in the nervous system for libido effect for females. So it's directly going to connect you to your partner and make it a more enjoyable experience. And both you guys can use these therapies as well and both get ultimate pleasure and satisfaction out of these things. So if you guys want to learn more about those therapies that we just talked about or want to increase or up your game in the bedroom for your partner, you guys can call or text 727-389-3220 and talk about our Supermans, our Wonder Womans, Iron Mans, our PT-141 with Cupid's Candy. So this has been another great episode, guys. All right. We'll be here every Sunday, 11 a.m., here for you guys on ABC. And if you guys didn't DVR it and you missed it, check it out. Go to YouTube.com, type in Type Medical Center, and you'll see all these great shows and a lot, lot more. Make sure you guys are keeping it locked to our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and any other ones that are going to pop up yeah. soon. Yeah, all the so, rest of them. <laughs> so I'm John. I'm Sheree. And we'll see you next Sunday on the Cupid's Corner. See you then.